It's Nurgle here. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments. So, we found some very strange things happening. Uh, the train that disappeared was apparently everybody was kicked off the train except for some Chileans, the Chilean directors of some company, and this man's supposed uh, electricity generating machine, which he had insured for quite a tidy sum. Let's see if we can find out more about it. According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message, which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word, you keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Ooh, Why don't you grip sack. Luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do it. <laughs> station master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. This what? Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. Indeed. Okay, we well, find out what was carried. Hmm. Okay, so now we have Chesterfield on here. That's interesting. Chesterfield report. Mm -hmm. Insurance policy. A valuable insurance policy for a prototype known as the autonomous electricity generator. Sounds like a scam. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay, let's see if we can. Uh, where is the luggage room? Is it down here? Is this it? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Let's see if we can... There's his bag. Can we rifle through it? We can. Well. This grip sack belongs to... Mr. Robinson. Well, I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. <laughs> I don't know what that of means, course. but... Aha, one of these. Okay, let's... Uh... Hmm, let's see, I don't... How do I... Okay. Okay. Oop, wait, nope. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. Oh, there we hey, there we go. Close enough. Let's see. These are not particularly hard puzzles to solve, but they are interesting. Oh, oh, oh that's, now that's interesting. If we can do it that way. Oh, we can. So hold on, let's go back. This needs to go. There we go. Hey, that did it. I, I like that one. That was clever that they had like a window in a window. And you had to do that. That was that was clever. That was fun. A bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. Uh, An exclusive sales contract. Mm -hmm. 
This is an exclusive sales contract regarding the prototype invention dedicated to the appliance supplying electricity in an autonomous way. Emerson Electric Company, the buyer, understand that they are purchasing the device as is and are in agreement. Mr. Thomas L. Robertson. Mr. Robinson is I'm, the yeah, I'm, I'm assuming I'm just supposed to uh, underline. I just click my mouse and underline when anything turns red. The seller is not responsible for any problems that may arise with the prototype after the purchase. Whether or not those issues were known by either party at the time of the purchase. The buyer is obligated to make prepayment in the amount of 10% of the prototype price in advance upon signing the contract. The remainder should be transferred within a month. Turn to page. Another exclusive contract. Exclusive sales contract. This is an exclusive sale contract regarding the prototype invention dedicated to plant supply and energy in an autonomous way. Hong Kong General Electric Company, the buyer, understand that they are purchasing this device as is and are in agreement again. Mr. Robinson is Mr. Robinson, the seller again, is not responsible for any problems. This is, this is the exact same. Yeah, this is the exact same. Buying the as is seems suspect. Sus. Exclusive sales Indeed. contract. This is an exclusive sales contract regarding a prototype dedicated to appliance fine electricity. Oh, the Chilean. So the Barquet's Chilean. Okay, the Chilean company. And again, interesting. Mr. Mr. Robinson, Robinson is the seller. Is the seller. Same thing. So lot, he's got he's got some interest in this thing that seems like a blatant scam. Yet another exclusive mm -hmm. sales contract. This one's being sold to Medicine General Electric. Hmm. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Indeed he is. Okay. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. Ooh, we got we got some some synapses to connect. Okay, let's see. So we have many customers. Ah, no, it's not the many customers. I think that's for something else. Prototype has insurance, and it was in the special wagon that vanished. Okay. Lots of prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robertson, thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. Oh, fraudulent. <sighs> Let's go back and see if there's any more, because there were a bunch of clues there. Let's see. This one seemed reasonable too. Hey, it was. Okay. Is that the one I did before? Okay, so, okay. Well, we'll get out of this. And I think the next thing we need to do, let's. Let's see, what's anything to say? wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Okay, nothing creepy about that. Let's do one more little checky check, and then we will head to that station. Um, what was it called? The one that the station master mentioned. Uh, Chesterfield. <laughs> I was going to say, it's, a, it's an old-timey cigarettes brand. It was, too. Let's see, gonna... It's a scandal. Yep. An absolute outrage. Mm -hmm. I will not move from here until I receive. Yes, yes. Okay, let's uh, let's go to Chesterfield. Wow, this is turning into a very interesting predicament. My goodness. I I do have a feeling that uh, this man's autonomous electricity generator is. A complete fraud in this game. I think Holmes has, has mentioned as such. Let's just look around a little bit outside first. What is this? Whoa. This is, this is a fancy little room. Look at that. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in here, so that's fine. Let's go back. Excuse me. Excuse me, Watson. Excuse me. Uh... Can we go in here first? Locked. <laughs> Darn it. He throws open both doors. Ooh. This bin is full of empty bottles. Hmm. 
Interesting. This bin is full of empty bottles. That's interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. Strange. Can we go in here? Okay. Let's check. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Morse code alphabet. Let's examine I it. I thought that all station masters knew the Morse code, but apparently not. Hmm. That's that curious. That, that's extremely curious. Hmm. Just don't mind me. I'm just rifling through all your stuff before I talk to you. All right. Let's talk. How could he fall asleep at work like this? Excuse me, sir. Wake up. Ah, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. And that explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean? <laughs> what? The 18 hour 72 train has arrived? Good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train. Mm -hmm. And we should like to ask you a few questions. But first, let me just stand here, staring at you creepily for several minutes. Mm hmm. Red notes. Okay. Okay, clean clothes. I guess that's good. Oh. Married, yep. What's that? Oh, a flask. Yeah. Aha! Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No. Nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office. <laughs> no doubt you were very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Now you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives into parts. <laughs> <laughs> nice hiccup. <laughs> the station master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. Well, hmm. he's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty. Yeah, I think I think binge drinking is the thing here. You were not tired, you were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All right. So I was drunk. I don't remember all of yesterday, to be truthful to you. Please don't go harsh on me. Hmm. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. Indeed. Ah, oh, will I ever get any peace? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oop, just saved. Looking around here. Is there any... There's the Morse code. Yeah, it's strange that... Is there any new things we can do? Yeah, he is not... He's definitely not trustworthy. And the telegram they, he said was really almost unintelligible. So I think... Well, I think that's it, right? Oh, there we go. Okay. Train passed through Chesterfield Station despite being unsure if the station master sent the report. The train never passed through Chesterfield Station. The mission was drunk in the system where he could have seen the report without witnessing the train. Yeah. I don't know. It could have passed through Chesterfield despite being unsure if the station master or the train never passed through Chesterfield. I don't know. Hmm. He could have sent. I mean, he could have sent a port without with the train. That's true. I'm gonna hold.
hold off and not choose that yet because I just don't know. I don't have enough information yet. Okay, let's see if we can do anything else. I, there was a there was a bunch of um, where was that? Where's the luggage room? See, this is locked, right? Locked. Yeah. There is no sense in asking. The yes. Yes. Oh, 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 I did not realize we're going to have another super fun. Okay, so we'll put that there. Now. I like, I like these puzzles because they're not super hard. But they're, you know, they're just a nice little, quick little puzzle. I like those. Ah, there we go. Okay, what's in here? <gasps> Railway post bags. Yes. Ah, instruments. These tools were used quite recently. They are still muddy. We should ask about them. That's curious. That's very curious. Is there anything here that we can use to do to look around here? I don't see see anything. Oh, what's this? Bags <gasps> were recently dragged here. Aha. Uh -huh. French <laughs> remarkable vintage. These bottles are too expensive for a station master's wage. They were likely taken from the parcels. Shameful. Indeed. Okay, so nothing there, so let's go back. Um, can we go out this way? We can, okay, just easier. Go back in here, throw both doors open. And in here. Let's go ask him about that. You're not a very nice man. You have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Ah, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. <laughs> I meant, what were they used for? <laughs> Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. Hmm. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water wouldn't come in too close. <laughs> Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They uh, wanted me to share a drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I mm. don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed. This to is very, very curious. Mm -hmm. Ah, will I ever... This Robinson fellow seems suspicious to me. <laughs> Do you think so, Watson? Yeah, th I, yeah I mean, yes. <laughs> Definitely, Watson. <laughs> I'd love to enter a, a... I'd love to enter a room just by flinging both doors open. Let's see, I can't, we still can't do anything with that. Can't do anything here. I'm just looking all around. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. I don't want to miss... A single thing. So we're just going to take a look around here, make sure that we've covered absolutely everything. What's, let's see, what are our goals here? Okay, should we fully examine? Okay, so we have not finished that yet, which means there's still other things we need to examine. There's, uh, let's see, oh, we haven't been in here. Oh, the warehouse. We have not been in here. Okay. A hand car wheelbase. Mm. Interesting. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. That's curious. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? Of course not, Holmes. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear. Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? <laughs> a little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. 
So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Ooh. Yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. Mm hmm Well, let's see if there's anything we can connect. No traces of a train. Spare parts of a handgun. I still don't. I'm just going to select one. I actually don't know. Okay. Well, we found out a lot of interesting stuff, and we're going to try a fake train experiment next time. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this content and you think you know someone else who might like it, why not tell a friend? Tell them to go to YouTube and do a search for Snorkel Games. Thanks again. I'll see you next time for more Sherlock Holmes, Crimes, and Punishments. See you then.